Hello, everybody. Happy Halloween. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Woo! Let's go see what's in the pumpkin today. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Victory. This is their Headwaters Pale Ale. And uh, their uh, brewmasters, Bill and Ron up there, are, uh, are touting how good their water is on the label here. So, uh, I'd say that's their secret, is uh, the, uh, the local watershed and... Uh, how, how good the water is there, and that is a factor. I mean, uh, if you're using nasty water, the beer's going to be nasty. So, <laughs> this is from Victory, and they're out of Downingstown, Pennsylvania. It was an American Pale Ale, coming in at 5.10 ABV. The uh, the beer is a year-round serving from these guys, so if you can get Victory beer in your area, you should be able to get this one. The the uh, food branch of this beer. Cuisine is the Pan-Asian with the uh, Pale Ales. And the cuisine, I mean the cheese would be uh, earthy, Camembert, Fontina, uh, your nutty cheeses, your Asiago, Colby, uh, your Adam, uh, Parmesan, and the meat for this would be poultry. The glassware, we got the pint glass, you could use the Becker, the Stein, the Mug, about anything you want to pour it in, just pour it in something. And it's not recommended for extended cellaring, being a 5.0%. And a lot of the pale ales uh, have sort of a hoppy note to it, and they'll lose that edge too over time. The hops will fade. So, uh, let's not sell on this one any longer and get the cap off of it. I don't see a date. It's got a barcode on it, but I don't see any kind of a Julian code or, or anything digitized on the bottle. So, uh... Not a good thing as far as I'm concerned. I'd like to have those days, guys. Let's get the cap off of it. Standard Victory cap with a V on it. I think all the beers have the same cap. A little bit of smoke coming out the end of the bottle. Uh, let's get it rolling in there and see. Alrighty, spin it around so you can see that pretty. It does have a very nice label. It's got a bunch of hops. And got headwaters, pale ale, and it's got some water underneath of it. Looks pretty good, right? Nice looking label. The uh, the beer pour is very clear. It is a orangey tangerine color. Uh, right, right. Fair amount of uh, carbonation in the glass. A lot of bubbles streaming up from the bottom on this one. Didn't pour a monster head. I didn't pour it super aggressive. Uh, but uh, what head that was there uh, has dissipated already. So let's get a nose on it. Well, that smells very, very good. A lot of citrusy hops going on there. And I, I guess I should tell you the hops on this one, I think they use the Citra and Centennial when they brew this. It smells very pleasant. A little grassy though, but it's got a nice hot presence. Wow, it smells very good. A little bit... I'm not sure what what it is. There's a little bit of a, I don't know if it's lemon or something I'm smelling there. It smells it smells a little stronger than a five percent beer. I'm getting just a little bit of the alcohol, and usually you don't get that on a five percent beer. But it smells a little stronger than a five percent beer. As a matter of fact, I wonder if it tastes a little stronger. So. Looks pretty good. Cheers, guys. There's a nice citrusy hot presence there. But it is a little lemony. And that and I do taste a little bit of the alcohol. I mean it's it's almost like it's a seven percent beer instead of a five percent. The 
It's not unpleasant though. It's very tasty. It's different. Maybe the citrus hops that they've used in there. It's not overly hoppy, I'll tell you that. But of course, I don't know what the date is on it. It's a year-round serving, so I don't know how often they do it, but uh, there's no date on it, so we don't we don't know. I don't see anything digitized or or anything on the bottle or labels. A lot of times the wife looks, yeah, I see something down there uh, on the very bottom. B two one seven five six. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. It's digitized across the bottom there. In black dots. Oh well. Shouldn't you shouldn't have to <laughs> try to decipher our code as far as I'm concerned. Guys, this is right out of the fridge. We're gonna sip on a little bit. See what this thing ends up being. I believe it's a slightly above average beer. We'll see how much above it is when we come back. Stick around. Alright guys, thanks for sticking around. Got just a little bit left in the glass. Uh, I enjoyed this beer. I think it's a very pleasant beer. Uh, it does taste like it's stronger, but it's just, it's just so sweet. I think it's, it's just the, 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 the rich malt that just tastes like it's got more alcohol, which it doesn't. 5.10. Smells a little stronger and just tastes a little stronger because it's so sweet. So, Final Chug. It's got a really nice citrusy taste to it. A little tangerine even. Uh, uh, orangey, floral. Very pleasant. Very, very sessionable beer. Uh, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it. Uh, I'm gonna give it a seven. It's a B plus on the scale. I was gonna go with an A, but it don't have a date on it. So, uh, I mean A minus, but it don't have a date. So we'll, we'll give it to seven, which is a B plus on the scale. Rate beer has this at 94 overall and a 97 in the style. So they're pretty impressed with it. I just wish it had a date on it. I just need a date. The uh, the beer advocate the ratings come up to a B plus. So I agree with that. I think it's a, a B plus beer. If they put a date on it, we'll get up into the A's and we'll talk about it then. That way I know how fresh it is and, and what I'm rating. Whether I'm rating a beer that's one month old, six months old, a year old, or exactly how old it is. So that way I know what the brewers want me to taste and not something that's been sitting on a shelf for six, eight months. So that being said, guys, if you've had this beer, give me some comments back on this one. It's a decent beer to see it. Pick it up. Give it a try. It's a pretty good pale ale. I enjoyed it. Just want that day. Keep harping about that, guys. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, and come on back tomorrow. We're going to look in the fridge then. See everybody then.